In our morning round, the soda business is desperate for some pop for the 10th straight year. Soda consumption is down. Americans drank nearly one and a half billion fewer cases last year than in 2004. And that's when soda sales hit an all-time high. But Vanita Nair show is here and shows us how the bottlers are ready to shake things up. Vanita, good morning. Good morning. Carbonated water and unflavored seltzer sales are booming as people turn away from both high-calorie and chemically sweetened diet sodas proof that Americans still like a little fizz in their drinks, and another class of beverage is looking to take advantage, craft soda. Right over here is a combination of our syrup and the liquid sucrose, which is the flavor. At the Appalachian Brewing Company in central Pennsylvania, they're churning out four different types of craft soda. We have a root beer, a diet root beer, a white birch beer, and a ginger beer. So the bottles will feed down here. Mike Parker is the director of marketing. I feel like everybody hears this word craft. <laughs> yeah. What does craft soda mean? To us, craft just means higher quality ingredients, more attention to detail and small batches. Does craft soda mean there's less sugar or natural sugar? Well, I think one of the definitions of craft would be as natural as you can get natural sweeteners, so cane sugar, if we don't use sugar, we use the natural sugar substitute, stevia, which is a plant. Higher quality, less processed. Less processed, but more profit. At least, that's the hope. Craft Soda is trying to follow the path of craft beer, which today accounts for nearly 20% of total beer sales in the United States. That amounts to more than $19.5 billion. So, naturally, craft soda has gotten the attention of the big boys, Pepsi in particular. We think there's a good, healthy prospect of where craft could go in the soda world going forward. Last September, the soft drink giant launched the limited release of Caleb's Cola. It's only sold in glass bottles with sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Introducing Mountain Dew Dew Shine. They've also created a craft version of Mountain Dew, noticeably missing that neon green color. Available legally for the first time. And later this summer, Pepsi is releasing a series of craft sodas called Stubborn, with flavors like agave vanilla cream and black cherry with tarragon. They will only be available from soda fountains in select restaurants. Flavor is everything everywhere. The sky's the limit in terms of choices. The one thing that's not a choice, though, is taste. And consumers demand more than ever great tasting products. For all their throwback charm and simpler ingredients, are craft sodas any better for you than the bigger mass-produced brands? Not according to nutritionist Marion Nessel. Because so many people want healthier foods and healthier ingredients and less sugar, the companies are trying to find products that will appeal to a more health conscious consumer. I would advise anybody who's drinking these products to read the labels carefully. So you have to think of sodas, craft or not, as liquid candy. And there's the issue of price. The cost of ingredients and packaging adds up and that can make craft soda more expensive. It's always going to be a little bit higher price for more premium products. It costs more to taste better. We're, we're not ashamed of that. The flavor of cola comes from the cola nut extract. The craft cola also has fewer calories per serving than regular Pepsi. Charlie.